Let's open a dialogue about this. I think it's a bit of a conversation starter. I'm going to tell you uh, why I filmed that, where I filmed it, and uh, basically talk about poverty in rural China and why the Chinese government is desperately pretending that it doesn't exist. Thanks, Winston. You are so worried about us, worried about Chinese, worried about the Chinese government. That's uh, we have a very huge subject or program is the fight with the poverty. Fight with the poverty, that is a look like battle. And because those is the people stay in so rural places in the deep level of a mountain. And you make this image is the, in 2019. From this, uh, those more than 20 years, government is always doing this project is to try to giving people more help, is to helping them to getting better of incomes. I know you left in China is from 2018. That is uh, almost four years ago. I know also know that's four years, maybe in the western of the country or in somebody the country, the pol politician people is just uh, talking or promise a lot of things. But the communist government is di different. They really doing something to giving the people for the help. And also, I will be show you the image. Government didn't to try to let the people forget those poor people. They always telling the rich people or middle class people, we still have a poor of a family need to give the help. I know you don't believe what I talk. I like show the image in China media company name called Billy Billy. And this uh, video is I got from the internet. They shooting in the 2019 for Da Liang Shan in Sichuan province, really poor rural high mountain places. And that is a special, uh, really uh, special man minority. That is the we have uh, 56 different traps. One of the trap is named called Yizu. And then that's uh, also is the guy is having the English subtitle, and also you can get the more information from the what they talk. And also I will be show more of image is the government is try to how they spend a huge help, huge help, and to give uh, the poor people for the chance. That is the some Western media company don't want to see. I've done a bit of traveling in China. I've been to places where there was poverty, but nothing like what I've experienced in that small, isolated village. It was a very eye-opening, life-changing uh, experience uh, for me. Okay. Oh, I didn't know what a poverty alleviation commissioner would do. And you don't really hear a lot about them, actually. When you read or when you deal with poverty alleviation work in China, you hear about policies, you hear about measures, you hear about deadlines, but you never hear about these people. See you next Tuesday. Yes, see okay. you next Tuesday. I'm looking forward. After a 20 minute trek up and up and up, slippery, muddy path, 
I think we're almost there. I need to be presentable when I start my job. So I'm trying to clean the mud off of my shoes. So I was just formally introduced to the whole crew that is working here in the village and we're just gonna go step inside, have a little meeting just to, you know, get to know a few things, get me started before setting out. So it should be interesting. This is home. You know, the village is around us here. The headquarters of the Poverty Alleviation Commissioner is going to be home for the next few days. <笑>谢谢这就我和你们一起因为我要知道你们怎么帮助别的人脱贫你们的扶贫工厂是怎么样的工厂我需要几个月所以就是我看到跟你介绍的那个贫瘠就是说用用英语其实也就是抛二土地